MK Theodoratus. One name MK Theodoratus. Website www.mktheodoratus.com. Blog ktheod.blogspot.com. Fantasy thoughts from my easy chair. Two country USA. Three do you prefer to read a particular genre? I mostly read various forms of fantasy or mystery books, though I read other stuff too. 4. Do you write in the same genre? If not which one? I write fantasy since I never could break my make-believe habit. In reality, I'm a hermit who doesn't interact much with the outside world anymore, so creating fantasies where I can ignore the intricacies of the faddish world work best for me. 5. Have you always written and what got you started professionally? Started writing in the sixth grade when my teacher introduced me to the concept of me creating my own stories on paper. Have written since then. I sold mostly non-fiction. I didn't start getting ending on most of my fiction until I retired. Writing keeps me busy and out of mischief. 6. How many books have you published? The Bee Demons is the only book I've published, but I do have a list of several novels and free short stories set in Ander. Once the Bee Demons had a contract with a mum and pop publisher and I tried to build a platform for them. Must say the reviews for all of my available stories are decent. 7. Which one would you like to tell us about? Actually, I'd like to mention the Their Bee Demons sequence. The whole thing started with an idea about how would a gargoyle protect a city. Night for the Gargoyles was born, featuring Gillen as Lodestar, and sold to Spectra magazine, a defunct design out of the UK. But I kept wondering how Gillen would cope trying to teach the headstrong... If you enjoyed this clip, you can listen to the whole episode on my blog Megan Publishing Services at meganthemisconception.com.